All right, greetings and salutations to our JHS community. Please remain standing to honor our nation's callers presented by the Joplin High School ROTC celebrating its 100th anniversary this year. After callers, graduates-to-be, leave your caps on. Those in the audience, please remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem by the JHS band under the direction of Mr. Mike Wassenaar. All right, let's give our band and ROTC a huge round of applause. And please be seated. All right, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Shane Hopper, proud principal at Joplin High School. I'd like to welcome you here today on behalf of the faculty and staff. I'm going to dedicate today's ceremony to the memory of Ms. Suzanne Daniel, a teacher we lost this school year. She dedicated her career and life to help Joplin students. Let's give her a big round of applause to show our appreciation for her life's work. This marks Joplin's 133rd high school graduation. Thank you for being here. This is a day to remember for our graduates and their families. Let me introduce our dignitaries. Please wait till I introduce each group before applauding. First of all, on our school board, Board of Education, our president, Mr. Sherrick Dermott, Vice President, Mr. Brent Jordan, members, Ms. Lori Musser, Ms. Deborah Gold, Mr. Derek Gander, Dr. Debbie Fort, and Dr. Michael Joseph. Let's give them a round of applause. Next to our Central Office Administration, please join in me in recognizing the Superintendent, Dr. Melinda Moss, our Principals Past and Future, Dr. Kerry Saketa, and Dr. Steve Gilbreth. Let me extend my best wishes to Dr. Gilbreth for the next year, and our Executive Director of Student Services, Ms. Sandra Cantwell. <laughs> to 
to our high school administration staff. Special thanks to our senior principal, Greg Boyd, and his right hand, Colleen Bontrager. And to the rest of our administrative team, Josh Flora, Kirk Harriman, and Casey Dorn. Let's give them a round of applause. Next, our teachers who were chosen to lead our senior students into auditorium, Mr. Keskamethi and Ms. Prim. Let's give them a round of applause, please. And now I'd like to introduce the teachers and counselors of both Joplin High School and Franklin Tech. They have worked with our graduates for the last four years. Their work is what drives our students to achieve excellence. Their dedication to students is outstanding and we cannot thank them enough. Please join me in recognizing all of our staff on our campus at JHS. I would like to honor those who cannot be with us here today. Even though the marathon continues for those seated on the floor, those who have passed had races in sooner than expected. Presley Ruck, Samantha Craner, Aiden Lees, and Jacob McDonald were all senior to be students at JHS. Let's have a moment of silence on their behalf. Thank you. A big part of our agenda this year was getting students to stop hurting themselves. I am eternally grateful that we have not lost a single student this year to an episode of self-harm. We do, in fact, love and care for you. Marathons are 26.2 miles. You have run the equivalent of 5.5 miles at this time. Use your life as a positive force and never be afraid to ask for help when you need it. I have had the pleasure of graduating 5,700 students in my career as a head principal. I can clearly say, with no reservations, that the class of 2019 has had some of the best students that I have ever served. This is an amazing class who will collectively do great things in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, as our seniors stand, please join me in recognizing the Joplin High School class of 2019. And now at this time, it is our tradition that the senior class president offers some opening remarks. She is also one of our top three seniors. Please welcome Krusha Bakhtis, senior class president. Good afternoon. The thing I learned most from high school was how to cheat. I think most of us can agree with that statement. Don't get me wrong, we have learned a lot, like how to write papers in MLA format, that in the controversy of Yanny or Laurel, it's definitely Yanny, that trigonometry kinda sucks, and that if the Jonas Brothers can come back, then so can Hannah Montana. Even with this immense amount of knowledge, sometimes we still manage to cheat. But who said cheating was a bad thing? Now, if there are any children in the audience, don't cheat. Cheating is bad but not entirely. In the fifth grade, my art teacher assigned us the arduous task of creating our own creature. Not only did we have to use our imagination, but we had to put a critical level of thought into it. At least that's what I did. Amid my battleground of thoughts and the faint yet daunting ticking of the clock in the background, because yes, contrary to popular belief, we know how to use manual clocks, a light bulb emerged. I had an idea. I grabbed my pencil and I let my mind take over. In what some may call a work handcrafted by God himself, arose my snizzard, a combination of a snake and a lizard with three broad stripes and a big smile. It was beautiful and I was proud. I eagerly showed my classmates, look, look at what I drew. They were in awe. I sat down happy and full of joy. 10 minutes later, the boy sitting across from me said, Krusha, Krusha, look at what I drew. I looked up curiously, only to see an animal that was a combination of a snake and a lizard with three broad stripes and a big smile. His looked pretty close to mine, but it just wasn't the same, kind of like the great value version of Fruit Loops, Fruit Spins. I got sad, and at recess, when that was a thing, I ranted to my friend, that boy cheated off of me and just copied my work. And my best friend, Maddie, replied with, and I will never forget, 
Man, I wish people would copy my work. What? I said. Yeah, if someone copies your work, then that just means they like it so much that they wish they could have done it themselves. I never thought about it that way. Maddie taught me one crucial thing, whether she realized it or not, that perspective is key. Now, cheating is bad, especially when you call it your own work, but none of us did that, at least I hope not. <laughs> we all cheated in a good way. We worked together. When we would find a Quizlet online with some pretty solid review material, we wouldn't just keep it to ourselves, we would share it with everyone in the class. Better yet, when we'd make our own Quizlet, we would share that too. Rather than caring solely about credit, we would help each other out, caring more about one another's success than anything. When someone had a really good idea, we would acknowledge it, and rather than taking it, we would build off of that idea as a group. We turned good ideas into great ones, together. And if anything, this school cheated by putting together the best class of students this high school has ever seen. So to my classmates, similar to what a person may say on their cheat day of the keto diet, let's get this bread. <laughs> um, also, I wasn't planning on doing this, but special shout out to my best friend Maddie. You are amazing and thank you for letting me call you out. And then special shout outs to my parents, my brother, and my cousin for simply putting up with me. I wrote this speech the morning it was due. And of all things I wrote it about, I wrote it about cheating. So that just shows what they have to deal with. Lastly, a big shout out to my class. You guys are the best, and all of you are going to accomplish great things in life. Follow your hearts, be passionate, and never lose sight of who you are. I believe in each and every one of you. Thank you for everything, and best of luck in your future endeavors. It truly was an honor to serve as your president. Thank you. And now our concert choir will perform under the direction of Miss Michelle Espinosa.
Fantastic job by our choir. We have had many special groups in our senior class that deserve recognition for their hard work. Let's recognize students in the class of 2019 who are doing great things academically. Would the following groups please stand so you can be recognized. Students who have earned the honor of summa cum laude, our highest academic honor, please stand. Thank you. Students have earned the honor of magna cum laude, our second highest academic honor. Please stand. Thank you. Students have earned the honor of cum laude. Please stand. Thank you. Members of our National Honor Society, please stand. Thank you. Members of our National Technical Honor Society, please stand. Thank you. Members of any other honor society that we offer, please stand. Thank you. Our A-plus students, please stand. Thank you. The not one, not two, not three, but eight students who have earned their associate's degrees from Crowder College along with their high school diploma, would you please stand? Thank you. Members of the class of 2019 who have joined the military, please stand. Thank you. Semper Fidelis means always faithful. At this time, please welcome our senior speakers for this afternoon. First up, let's introduce and give a big round of applause for Phoebe Watson. It's a privilege and an honor to be speaking for you today. But before the panic checks in that there are over 5,000 of you here, although I'm pretty sure that it already has, um, I'm going to get on with my speech. I walked into high school with low expectations. We all heard that while better than middle school, high school was substantially more difficult, but it was more fun. From personal experience, school was never really about fun for me. It was about learning. And I know that isn't super relatable, but walking into a class and learning something new was always exhilarating for me. So. When I stumbled into the doors of the gym, absolutely terrified for the first time for a freshman orientation, I was in shock. I looked around and saw what seemed like hundreds of unfamiliar faces and a couple from Instagram, but mostly it was like walking into a sea of people of whom I'd never met. 
Over the next four years, I developed friendships both new and old, and quickly I found my tribe of people who support me every single step of the way. Like most of your social circles, these girls and guys are a motley crew of kids from various activities, ranging from science research to tennis to constitution team to show choir to even freshman gym class. I'm sharing these mundane details with you to hopefully get to the point. To quote Leslie Nope, my personal hero, Teddy Roosevelt once said, far and away the best prize life has to offer is a chance to work hard at work worth doing. And I would add that what makes work worth doing is getting to do it with people you love. School is hard 70% of the time. Tests are not fun, sometimes high school kids are mean, and overall some classes were, well, boring. However, these people I mentioned above made school worth doing. And as I said, I never really liked school for the fun. It was always about the learning. But when I walked into those doors on that warm August day, things began to change. I quickly found my group of nerds, geeks, tennis stars, and fun. And trust me, I don't want to glorify this experience because there were definitely some times where I thought I may not make it across the stage. But here are a few standouts. One, when I see Kez sprinting, sprinting down the hallway only for him to stop and pretend to pour his coffee on me, every single time my heart still drops to the floor. Two, panicking whenever I realized I'd only gotten through half of the required reading assignment only to have a surprise book quiz that day. Every single time. When I went to get Sonic during lunch. I'm sorry, guys, but that experience and the prank that followed still haunts me. Getting an earth-shattering 6 out of 10 on an assignment for turning it in a day late in pre-AP English 2. Spoiler alert, it would not be the last assignment I would turn in late, and it would most definitely not be the worst grade I got in an assignment. I guess I didn't really learn my lesson there. And five, my personal favorite, legit crying during a calc test. I mean, bawling. As for the crowd getting me across the stage today, I have some people to thank. First, to my teachers. Thank you for giving it to me straight. Always. Although you made me cry, you also made me laugh. I'm grateful for the criticism and help and development into a better student and person. Next, to my friends. Every single one of you make the hard days easier and the good days better. I couldn't be more thankful. To my family. Mom, Dad, thank you for getting me through these past 17 years. Dad, your relentless teasing made me stronger, and Mom, your constant support and guidance have taught me more than I could have ever asked for. And to my dogs, Sparkles and Rory, you're cute and I love you. And finally, I thank God for everything he has done for me. I thank him for the strength he has given me and us to finish strong and finish well. Thank you, class of 2019, for allowing me to be here. Thank you, honored guests, faculty, and classmates. And to quote Leslie Nope once more, again I say without reservation, my personal hero. So I thank those people who walked with me, and I thank you for this honor. Now go find your team and get to work. Thank you. Next up, we have Lucas Kino. Let's give him a big round of applause. I'm going to take this thing off. It's going to annoy me. Uh, well, to start off, I try to be a man of few words, so I'll keep it pretty short because I know how much everybody loves to hear from an 18-year-old with almost no worldly experience. <laughs> that being said, I think it's best to share some things from people who do have a little worldly experience. So, what is success? How does society define success for us? And most importantly, how can we be successful? Coach Lawrence defines success as being a peace in mind, which is a result of self-satisfaction and knowing that you did your best to become the best that you're capable of being. Coach Jasper says that success is deciding what you want to accomplish, creating a plan, and following it through to fruition. Mrs. Travis said success for her is when you follow through with commitments or goals, and in the end, you can make people happy. Notice how none of these definitions of success are the same. There is no one way to succeed, and there is no way, one way to live a successful life, because it's different for everybody. Maybe school is in your wheelhouse, and you dominated in high school, and you're moving on to dominate college. Well, maybe you struggled in school and couldn't quite find your niche. High school isn't the be-all and end-all. For example, Stan Lee, may he rest in peace, <laughs> may he rest in peace, didn't create his first comic book until he was almost 40, and we all know how successful he turned out to be. For all the old folks in the room, Stan Lee was the creator of Marvel Comics, which pumped out superheroes such as the Hulk, Iron Man, Thor, and Captain Marvel. But the point is that if school isn't what you're good at, go find what it is that you're passionate about and do that. 
Expectations are set for us by the education system, and if you don't conform exactly to them, it kind of feels like you're a failure. Well, a heavily derived Einstein quote goes something along the lines of, if you judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree and a monkey on its ability to swim, both will go through life thinking that they're failures. Speaking of Einstein, he didn't publish his theory of relativity until he was almost 40 and didn't win his first Nobel Prize until he was 43. Success isn't going to come right out of high school, and not enough people tell us that. Well, we're all graduating today, which means that we're all on our own time now. So it's time to define our success. Thank you. All right, this time our senior vocalist will perform under the direction of Miss Monica Reynolds. Great job again by our choir. Next up we have Mr. Greg Boyd, our senior class principal who addressed the graduates to be. Luke, some of these people in here might think success will be that you've moved out of the house at the age of 30. Parents, grandparents, guardians, Thank you all for allowing me to play a small part in the lives of these young people. And to you, the students of the graduating class of 2019, this is your day. 
congratulations. There are many reasons for us to be proud of this class, and there are many qualities that make the class of 2019 unique. I have looked for themes based entirely on my observations of you, and I have found that this class should be recognized for their compassion, their willingness to serve the school and the community, and their commitment to be there for each other. For many of you today, represents reaching your first significant milestone in education and toward adulthood. For others, this is the beginning of your educational journey or advanced training in the field where you will begin preparing for your career. Your class has received scholarships awarded in the amount of $2.7 million. That's awesome. From this class, there are several students who will enter directly into the workforce, but there are others that will continue to move forward to prestigious universities like Arkansas, Alabama, Baylor, Brigham Young, Florida Gulf Coast, Missouri, Oklahoma State, Penn State, St. Louis, UMKC, and the list goes on. These students are pursuing their dreams to become the next generation of film producers, physicians, nurses, biologists, politicians, journalists, engineers, accountants, policemen, firefighters, web developers, entrepreneurs, and yes, teachers. When we met two years ago in our first meeting, and again once last week, I used a 12-inch ruler to represent your educational timeline. To this point, I indicated that you had only two inches or four semesters reigning, remaining to get to the finish line. So just think, why is today so important? So I thought it'd be appropriate to bring with me a new visual aid to represent the next stages of your journey. Because the next stages of your training, you will establish the foundation for the next 40 plus years. If you find the right career path and are passionate about what you do, you'll never have to work another day in your life. It has been my pleasure serving you, the class of 2019. Soar high, Eagles. Thank you. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce the superintendent of Joplin Schools, Dr. Melinda Moss. What a gloriously beautiful day to celebrate a graduation. And graduates, I commend you for the successful completion of many years of hard work. As your efforts now reward you, they also honor your teachers and they bring pride to your families. You've distinguished yourselves as leaders of learning and champions of activities. And we are certainly going to miss you. As you go forth from high school, you'll hold the memory of today as a landmark of your lives. But there's a challenge in this celebration that you continue to develop your talents and your skills, and that you use them to dedicate to doing the good things that God has already planned in advance for you to do. Service and being there for each other has been a common theme. And Mr. Boyd, I love the tape measure. And so I challenge you as you go forth to live your purpose, never ever forget that you are sons and daughters of this Eagle Nation forever. So over the last month, I've been reading a biography of Johnny Cash. If you don't know, he's a singer. He had a couple of hits before the days of auto-tune. 
there are definitely some great lessons to be learned from his story, and I want to share those with you. First, he had a passion for what he did in life. Growing up extremely poor in Dias, Arkansas, he started singing in his church. He knew early on that singing was what he wanted to do in life. The problem was he wasn't very good, and he lacked confidence. When he joined the military and went to Germany, he kept working at it. He was not very good there either. Grit, determination, and perseverance eventually paid off for him so that he would achieve his goal. He sold appliances and hung around Sun Studios in Memphis, Tennessee, so that he would ultimately get his break in the business. He hustled his way to the top. Graduate to be, do something that you are passionate about in life. If you get caught up doing something mundane and not challenging, you will regret that. Your marathon continues. The next steps and pace are up to you. It is okay that you don't have an immediate answer for these next steps. That is quite natural. Keep your interest in mind when you do decide the direction you will travel. Second, Johnny Cash lived his life in service to others who were less fortunate than him. He was known as the man in black. He wore black clothes for the downtrodden and the poor. He would actually place shows in prisons for those people society shunned and gave up on, championed civil rights for Native Americans, and literally gave the people the shirt off his back if they needed it. He didn't have to do those things. He was a successful person and could have just focused on himself. Partly by his upbringing and beliefs, and partly because of a compulsion to help others, made him do these things. There is really nothing greater than service to others. It brings up those you help and strengthens the community that you belong to. There are a lot of people in this world who lie, cheat, steal, gossip, tear down others, and show a strong lack of character and integrity. This is always more about them than you. Do the right thing always and put others first. Last, Johnny Cash advocated for himself. One time he put out a single called Ballad of Ira Hayes a song about an American Indian war hero who fell on hard times. Some country stations at the time did not want to play the song because of some latent racism toward American Indians and some general negative opinions of protesting in the 60s. Cash took out full-page ads in music magazines asking those radio stations, where are your guts? He ultimately won out because he fought for what was important to him. One thing I notice often with high school students is that they struggle to advocate for themselves. You are not a second-class citizen in your own school. You are not a second-class citizen in your own community. Advocate for yourself and demand the opportunities that you deserve. 25% of Joplin is 18 years of age or younger. Use your voice to affect positive change. And now President Dermott, and the rest of the school board, I would like to present you the Joplin High School Senior Class of 2019. This class has met all the requirements prescribed by the Joplin Board of Education and the State of Missouri for graduation. Please give a hearty welcome to Sherrick DeMott, President of the Joplin Schools Board of Education. Thank you, Dr. Hopper. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Joplin Schools Board of Education, it is with great pleasure that we accept the 2019 graduating class of Joplin High School. Graduates, today we celebrate a wonderful milestone in your lives. No matter your next step, high school graduation is far from the end of your education. As you advance the degrees you've earned, I urge you to seek additional opportunities to learn and grow. Today, congratulations. Tomorrow, the journey continues. The Joplin Schools Board, the people in this room, and thousands who are not, wish each of you the very best every step of the way. And now, the actual moment you've been waiting for, we will have presentation of diplomas.
kids are hanging in the edges, right? No, you're okay. I need to see if I can see Kelly. Laura Anderson, summa cum laude. <laughs> Lauren Ball. <laughs> Ashley Beebe. <laughs> Carisha Boynton, magna cum laude. Joni Brewer, <laughs> Abigail Brower, cum laude, <laughs> Athena Cardenas, Larry Shepard, Connor Casey, Roland Fulton. Alexa Castor. Lucas Keenel, summa cum laude. Kaya Chaplin, magna cum laude. Krusha Bakta, summa cum laude. Samuel Erisman. <laughs> Phoebe Watson, summa cum laude. Holly Hoagland. <laughs> Isabel Curtis. <laughs> Hannah Holland. <laughs> Camry Davis. Jalen Hunsicker. Blake Dean. Ethan Hutchins. Julieta Delgado Fonseca. Emily Kaler. Kevin Derrick. Madison McAllister. Jordan Dillard. Sophie Moore. Ariana Dobbs. Rachel Patterson. Gabriel Dooley, summa cum laude. Jacob Solomon. Kendon Doss. <laughs> Colton Phillips. Chance Downey. Catherine Rausch. Allison Duke. Michaela Sermons. Dawson Duncan, cum laude. Daniel Stanley. Robert Duncan. Sophie Stobel. Keontra Edward. Anne Storm, magna cum laude. Aurora Ellington. Linda Switzer, cum laude. Gabrielle Emmert. Michaela Wolford. Robert Ehrman. 
Maurice Aubery. Brittany Etter. Danya Albeder. Brendan Evans. Lee Alford. Amber Fewens. Brett Albright. Barbie Jo Finn. Preston Anderson. Brittany Fiscus. Azalea Andrews. Donovan Fletchell. Reba Andrews. Marvin Florian. Jordan Archer. Jacob Flowers. Jordan Adams. Emily Fosdick. Christopher Bailey. Matea Fowler. Sierra Barber. Tiffany Fowler. Destiny Barker, cum laude. Angelica Franco. Levi Barnard. Brittany Free, summa cum laude. Matthew Barnhart. Maribel Galabies. William Bell. Emily Garcia, magna cum laude. Samuel Beckett. Trainer Garland. J.C. Beeler. Brian Guerin. Anna Beal. Destiny Giddens. Joshua Bennett. Nevea Gilstrap, cum laude. Abigail Bermudez. Savannah Goad. Evan Bernat. Noel Gomez. Maya Buley, magna cum laude. Sophia Good. Brandon Biddix. Seth Gordon Duncan. Drew Black. Taylor Gore. Joseph Blunk. Krista Gould, cum laude. Kelsey Bohannon. Courtney Gould. Isaac Bolton. Megan Gorley Owen. Jacob Boo. <laughs> Katie Gradwall. Bradley Bowman. Tiana Grant. Nikolai Bowman. Andrew Griesmer, summa cum laude. Keaton Bradley. Macy Grimes. Joseph Braun. Evan Grissom. Emma Briley, cum laude. Chandler Haas. Joseph Britton. Macy Hancock. Corbin Brummett. 
Adam Hang. Blake Bruner. Logan Hankins. Gabe Buckridge. Jacob Hansen. Brett Bueller, cum laude. Jeffrey Hardy. Taylor Bulger. John Harden. Dominic Burke. Nicholas Hare. Bailey Busick. Katherine Harmon. Ashley Butler, cum laude. Clarissa Harnes. Jacob Butler. Tyler Harper. Tyler Byers. Hallie Harrison. Summer Cargyle. Trinity Hawkins. Gabriel Carter. Tristan Hayes. Courtney Castor. Nathan Heath. Uriel Cepeda. Grace Hefner. Delavan Chambers, magna cum laude, associate's degree from Crowder. David Heimberg. Kristen Hoynowski. Raven Hemphill. Aiden Clevenger. James Hernandez. Raymond Klein. Luis Hernandez. Gwyneth Klaus. Kobe Herring. Devin Cobb. Isaac Hibbard. Andrew Coleman. Brendan Hicks. Sage Coleman. Cody Hidalgo. Jacob Collins. Caitlin Hill. Madeline Carey. Caitlin Heinegger. Emily Conrad. Zane Henson. Lillian Conroy. Nicholas Lewis. Chloe Copeland. Norman Lewis, magna cum laude. Cameron Kofer. Trent Lida. Dylan Kofer. Jonathan Lopez, cum laude. McKenna Kofer, cum laude. Mino Lopez. Mason Coral. Caitlin Lovell. Juan Cornelio. Sadie Lovell. Haley Couch. Karen Luna. Derek Cox. Malia Mack. Mallory Cravens, magna cum laude. Nick Mails. 
Tylea Crow. Melissa Monsipe. Jose Cruz Carvalho. Anna Mann. Kalani Marmalejo. Ambrea Hodges. Drew Merritt. Kaylee Hoffman. Tanner Marshall. Matthew Holmes. Jeremiah Martin. Ethan Honeyball. Joshua Martin. Nathan Hoover. Amber Matichek. Bryce Howell. Kashandrick Matthews. Micah Howell. Alexis McAnally. Elizabeth Huffman. Eric McCarty. Grace Hughes, magna cum laude. Brianna McCowan. Kirkson Humphrey. Mason McCoy. Alex Hunt. Joseph Patrick McGuire II, associate's degree from Crowder, summa cum laude. Carter Hearn. Sierra McHenry. Ronnie Durham, cum laude. Dylan McIntosh. Maya Hiles. Jesse McNeese. Grace Ibsen, cum laude. Gabriel McFerrin. Logan Irvin. Isabella McVeigh. Presley Jacobson. Devin Metter. Bethany James. Maddie Meek. Peterson Johannes. Angeline Mendeliola. Joshua Johnson. Rose Minahia, cum laude. Stephen Johnson. Ethan Moreno. Stran Johnston. Andreas Nicolopoulos. Austin Jones. Chloe Miller. Grant Jones. Erica Miller. Jacob Jones. Maxwell Mitchell. Nicholas Jones. Riley Mitchell. Sage Jones. Tristan Mitchell. Cynthia Jones. Amanda Moffat. Jordan Blair. James Moman Jr. Abigail Keith. Cameron Montoya, magna cum laude. Chloe Keller. Anthony Muma. Kirstie Kellogg. Caitlin Mill Moore, excuse me. Caitlin Moore. Connor Kelly. Kendon Moore. Who are you and 
Yeah. Olivia Christop Kelly. Christopher Moran. <laughs> Alexia King. Lyle Moran. <laughs> Deron Mitt Morgan. <laughs> Shalai Kincaid. Jade Mori. Addison Coke, Magna Cum Laude. Allison Moser. Kevin Kubik. Hello, dear. Anthony Mosley. Lajene Kurtz. Justice Murray. Nakaya Lamb. Jack Myers. Megan Lansaw. Diego Noronio. Abigail Law. Nora Noronio. Lindsay Lawson. Grayson Neidholt. Tristan Lett. Katie Nelson, associate's degree from Crowder, summa cum laude. Garrett Lewis, magna cum laude. Joseph Ness. Jade Smiles. Zyler Newman. Alexa Smith. Benjamin Wynn. Andy Smith. Jessica Wynn, magna cum laude. Avery Smith. Abigail Nielsen. Daly Smith. Grace Nielsen, magna cum laude. Devin Smith. Avery Olschlager, magna cum laude. Savannah Ku Quinn Smith, summa cum laude. Kyler Oler. Timothy Smith. Ulysses Olvera. Tyler Smith. Alicia Ortiz. Jacob Snelson. Kelly Otis. Lydia Sokolenko. Alyssa Owens. Shakara Spicer Bryant. Dario Pacini. Andrea Staffney. Juliana Paul, associate's degree from Crowder. Nathan Staffney. Sarah Perejit. Preston. Kean Stahl. Preston Parker. Haley Stamper. Matthew Parrott. Andrew Statler. Chase Pattison. Bethany Spencer. Alec Peacock. Isaiah Stigall. Jasmine Peck, magna cum laude. Samuel Stovern, magna cum laude. Kevin Pordraza. Alexander Strong. Jacqueline Pena. Kaden Subo. Jonathan Pendergraft. Parker Sullivan. Ethan Pennington. Jacqueline Sweeten. Sheridan Faith Perkins. Emily Taylor. Aiden Perrin, cum laude. Larkin Taylor. Maxwell Person. Sarah Taylor. Megan Peterson.
Anderson, summa cum laude. Peter Thomas. Shannon Petros. Tyler Thompson. Blake Petty. Madison Thorne. Austin Phillips. Taylor. Taylin Phillips, associate's degree from Crowder. Allison Tillman, summa cum laude. Leighton Philpott. Chantelle Tilton. Rachel Plunkett, magna cum laude. Hector Torres. Charles Poteet. Jean Tran. Aiden Potter Chalagos. Danae Trudeau. Allison Price. Jaden Toon. Raven Price Cum Laude. Jacob Tupper. John Pringle. Aaron Tyler Cum Laude. Christopher Pryor, cum laude. Brianna Tyree. Mohammed Sajid Ryan, summa cum laude. Eric Velasquez. Alex Ramirez. Kempton Verdict. Jacob Ray. Courtney Vermillion. Aspen Reed. Keegan Vermillion. Hunter Redman. Caden Vickers. Felicia Reed. Adelaide Vogt, associate's degree from Crowder. Stephanie Reed. Cody Wages. Radomiro Reynoso Garcia. Kayla Walker. Akemi Renchi. <laughs> Olivia Rentfro. Joseph A. Ward. Freddie Reyes. Joseph D. Ward. Samuel Richardson. Denon Wasson. Claire Richens, magna cum laude. Corbin Webb. Ashton Riley. Emma Weber. Julia Roach. Joshua Wells. Caitlin Robertson, cum laude. Megan Wells. Brooklyn Robertson. Dylan Weimer. Graviela Rodriguez. Ali Dahl. Joseph Roll, summa cum laude. Sierra West. Andrew Romero. Brayden Williams. Victoria Rausch, associate's degree from Crowder, magna cum laude. Kate Wimberly. Tristan Russell. Micaiah Weimer. Michonne Salter. Kayla Wynn, magna cum laude, associate's degree from Crowder. Brayden Sanders. Jaden Withrow. Emily Sanders. Cameron Wolf. Tian Sang. Skylar Wood. Bennett Satterley, summa cum laude. Zachary Watawa. Sierra Scoggin, magna cum laude. Riley Wyrick. Carter Scott. Logan Yates, summa cum laude. Keith Schneikert. Taylor Yuhas, summa cum laude.
Brecken Zortman. Julia Cease. Desiree Schaffler. Ashley Wade Hera. And Nelson Gutierrez. All right, in just a few moments, our graduates will leave the area together. Please clear the aisles so that they can leave their arena as a graduating class of 2019. It is almost time to push our young eagles out of the nest. The next chapter is up to them. Please welcome our last presenter of the day, Stuco President Jessica Wynn, for some final thoughts. Let's give her a big round. Thank you, Dr. Hopper. Truly joyous and radiant, exudes warmth, inspiration, and vitality, the happiest. Communication, enlightenment, and optimistic. This is the definition of the color yellow. If I could describe my four years at Joplin High School in one color, it would be yellow. Yellow for joyous, because in these four years, I've made so many amazing friends here at JHS. Yellow for optimistic, because with our class today, I have seen so many of my classmates exceeding expectations. Yellow for warmth, because at the end of the day, we are still Joplin Eagles, and this, is, this will forever be our home. And lastly, yellow for happiness, because I have shared so many moments with the class of 2019. We remember moments, not days. We'll remember the moment we step foot on this stage to receive our diploma with a thought in our minds telling us that we did it. Through all the stressful nights and anxious mornings, we pushed through and we finally did it. But can we remember what we did last year on May 19th? Probably stressing over finals, but we'll remember moments, not days. We'll remember the moment we gathered on our JHS soccer field to watch the sun rise together, starting our year off as seniors, and we'll remember the moment we gathered at Mercy Park last week to watch the sun set together one last time as class of 2019. The moments that we've collected at Joplin High School are enough to make a whole constellation. The great thing about that is that each one of ours are different and unique. We each hold moments that mean so dearly to us and, that what and that's what makes ours so beautiful. As class of 2019, we'll remember the endless Friday night lights we had this year. We'll remember the amazing last minute shot during basketball homecoming, the euphoric feeling of finding out that you qualified for state, whether it be in sports, music, academics, or performing arts. And the adrenaline of rush when we realized that graduation was way sooner than expected. We'll remember these moments because they are accomplishments that we did, and I don't think we give ourselves that much credit. High school has not been easy, and there are moments where we have struggled and possibly shed some tears. But what about the moments after, where we found the light in the tunnel and we've managed to find our way out? Class of 2019, I hope you're all proud of yourselves because this is a huge milestone in our lives. It's been such an honor being a part of such an empowering and inspirational group of peers that I can proudly call my fellow classmates. To the moments shared in Girls Club, Student Council, and Orchestra, thank you for making me the person I am today. I have learned so much as a leader and individual in these organizations, and I will forever cherish those moments. I would like to thank, with all my heart, the people who have been with me through high school. To my friends for constantly encouraging me in everything that I do and bringing, and bringing out the best of me. To my teachers who have taught me lessons that I will take with me on this new chapter. 
and to my family, who have taught me lessons that I will take with me on this new chapter. Oh, <laughs> my Nana, Papa, aunts, uncles, cousins, and sisters. Thank you for being there every step of the way and for giving me your endless support. Lastly, to my parents, who have so supported me through every single thing I've done and who have worked so hard to see me on this stage today. Mom, Dad, I hope I made you proud, and I want to thank you for being the stars in my constellation. Thank you to everyone who has made an appearance in my life these last four years, and who have always encouraged me to go the distance. You guys are the stars that make my ordinaries into extraordinaries. Class of 2019, today is ours. Not just the future, but right now when we leave today and go our separate ways. You yourself as an individual have made it to this point right now. What's stopping you from going on? You are the reason that you are here today. Find that confidence and go show the rest of the world what you're made of. Be the person who leads you, not the one to break you. Inspire others, but inspire yourself. Give yourself credit sometimes, because that's what's important. Maybe you made a mistake yesterday, but yesterday's you is still you. You are who you are today with all your faults. Tomorrow you may be a bit wiser, but that's still you too. These faults and mistakes are what you are. Come to love yourself for who you were, who you are, and who you hope to become. RM. A life lesson I learned is, love is not a word, it's a world. In this life, there's seven billion people with seven billion different worlds. What's your world going to be? Thank you. Students, please rise for the turning of the tassels. At this time, switch them from the right to left. Would you all please stand while the JHS choir sings the alma mater? It's all good. I thought they gave you a hard cup. Congratulate the Joplin High School class of 2019 at this time.